Hi, Scorpio. It's a uh, opulent spiritual. Another reading. This is going to be for July 2024. So it's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. And uh, if you like what I do and you want to support me, you can like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps me out. And my nose is already getting itchy, so you could begin to a fight with somebody. Someone's going to piss you off, probably. But let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Ooh, I am hearing abundance, though, so maybe you're going into an abundant time. All right, so there's a lot of emotions here, a lot of feelings. Maybe you caught feelings for somebody. Uh, you're definitely communicating the spirit a lot. I could see that. So expect, um, I'm hearing astral travel, but yeah, there's something going on with that. Spirit's definitely communicating to you a lot this month, so I would pay very close attention to what they're saying to you. Especially in your dreams, you're going to have a lot of uh, interesting dreams this month. So, yeah, I'm seeing someone um, with their arms in the air, like they're trying to celebrate. They're, they're celebrating something. They're not trying. Well, maybe you're trying to celebrate something, but you can't yet. There could be something like that where it's not yet set in stone, but like you want to jump for joy, like you're excited about something, but it's not yet set in stone. I do see someone with a giant horn. They're holding like a giant horn here. They could be Chinese or the dragon. Um, they could have Taurus placements. But yeah, there's a big announcement coming from this person here. There's also news on the way. You have a lot of news coming in. And there's also a question mark here. So you are confused. You do have a big question on your mind. And maybe you can find the answer in this reading. Well, I don't know. Who knows, right? So we have letter C and letter S here. But yeah, there's a big announcement here. That's the biggest thing you have in this cup that I'm seeing. So yeah, there's something about like skydiving or sky gliding or something like that. Like sky stuff, like bungee jumping, whatever. Like, you know, putting your life on the line type of thing. Like getting that like high off of... um being on the edge of death or something. I don't know. Uh, that's like a very scary thing. I'm seeing a motorcycle here. Um, Chinese here, the rooster. It could be dealing with a Libra. Uh, we also have, yeah, we have the ovaries here. Mm. Yep. And the fallopian tubes and the uterus and everything. So you could be dealing with that. Something with that here is being highlighted right in the beginning of the month. So be careful of that because if you are doing these like risky things, it could damage your, I don't know, your reproductive organs or something. I have no idea what why this is connected to this, but it could be like a serious accident or something. So be careful. I don't know. But that's what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing a ladder and you're climbing towards success in something that you're doing. And we're going to see the charms in a little bit, but... Yeah, we definitely have someone that wants to have a conversation with you. This person wants to take you at, take you out. They could be Chinese year of the goat. They could have Leo placements. But yeah, this person wants to take you on a date. It's connected to a new path here with this shoe. It also could be someone that, yeah, Chinese year of the dragon. It's definitely this year. It's right now, which is very interesting here. Maybe something's happening around like, your birthday season, like November, December type of thing, like the holiday season. And I'm also seeing a dagger, but it's broken in half. So you already used this dagger and it's broke. You can't reuse the same dagger here. So you definitely severed something out of your life. It's gone for good, but maybe you're trying to reuse it, but it's not going to work. You have a wish coming true and it's connected to the Ace of Cups here. So you have a wish fulfillment here, brand new beginning coming in which is beautiful. And I see you feeling very um, well off, very abundant. It's giving me like the Nine of Pentacles vibes that you're going to be feeling like really good, like luxurious, you know, like you're, you're going to have more than enough to do what you need to do. And you're going to actually enjoy the moment instead of being worried. I'm hearing pain is money or something. I just heard that. There's something about exploring caves, waterfalls, mountains, stuff like that. I don't know if you're going into things like that or seeing that, but that's what I'm seeing here. Chinese here, the rabbit. 
Chinese ear of the dog, Chinese ear of the goat, and Chinese ear of the snake. An air sign, especially a Gemini, wants to reach out to you and talk to you about something. I don't know. And I'm hearing my foot hurts, so maybe there's something about their foot. Maybe they maybe they broke their foot or something. All right, be very careful with like your body parts and stuff, because I am seeing a lot of falls and getting hurt and broken bones and all that stuff. So be careful. Be very, very careful here this month. I don't know what's going on. You're acting like a daredevil or something. Chinese ear of the rat, Capricorn. And I'm hearing this is my best friend. So maybe that's your best friend. I don't know. I'm also seeing uh, Chinese ear of the horse. So cancer energy here. But there's something about you getting away like and feeling like a go-getter. Like, I don't know. That makes no sense. But that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and you're preparing for union with somebody. I'm also seeing someone playing like a banjo here. So you could like that kind of music or you're, you live in that part, like a southern part or something, or you're from the country countryside, you know. Hmm. Chinese ear of the rabbit, Aries. And then you have a new path opening up here. And it's very nice. Connected to family and home. Traditions. Wealth. Wealth in the home. Abundance. I'm hearing Skeeter. <laughs> From Doug. Doug Funny and Skeeter. I don't know. Maybe you have a friend like Skeeter. I don't know. Yeah, spirits is saying hold your focus, like hold your eyes. They're saying hold your focus here. Hmm. Yeah, everything is is happening now. There's nothing. I don't see anything that you're waiting for here. No, it's all right now. This month here, there's definitely a surprise. In your money, you're going to be very happy here. This could be a couple of side jobs that you get or little extra monies here and there, a little overtime you're getting. Chinese here, the rooster, Libra. And there's something connected to Jupiter here. Jupiter is actually blessing you this month, which is very strange. Um, Because you guys are Pluto and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart, but Jupiter is definitely blessing you a lot. Chinese here, the goat, Leo. A lot of Chinese ear of the rooster here. So if you're Chinese ear of the rooster, this is definitely for you. And you have a completion to a cycle here. Something about the full moon is going to be very powerful for you. And I believe it's the full moon in Capricorn. And it's a blue moon. So it's a once in a lifetime opportunity that could be coming towards you this month. Once in a lifetime. Chinese ear of the pig is here as well. Sagittarius, you are, you're, you're like receiving like some kind of shield and there is autism here, like the, with the puzzle piece, like an autism awareness or something, or maybe, you know, someone that's like autistic or this is someone in your family, or this could be your child or something. I don't know, but there's something with like autism here. Maybe you work with children like this or, or adults or whatever. I don't know, but there's, there's a shield here. You're shielding yourself from something. And I'm also seeing someone working on the computer very hard. So maybe you do things online and you're like very focused with that, trying to make a little bit of monies with that, extra monies. And I definitely seen that being really good for you, very lucrative for you. Okay, let's see. Scorpio. Let's see, what zodiac signs are you dealing with this month? I'd be like, ooh, Pisces, definitely. Definitely a Pisces is like popping up here. Yeah, Cancer's uh, reading was very weird. <laughs> I 
kind of feel bad, but that is what it is. When spirit wants to say whatever, then we gotta just go with the flow here. I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a cancer or maybe you have cancer in your chart, I don't know. Because I don't know why that would be significant to you, but who knows, right? I don't know. This is just, you know, when I'm doing this, I'm channeling, so everything is important that I'm saying. Okay, I don't know why I'm putting it on there that that wasn't supposed to happen. So you have a little bit of love in your work happening here. A little office romance type of shit. Mm. Okay. Alright, let's see. What's going on for Scorpio? Alright, so in your relationships, Eve. Something's happening at night. Number eight. Maybe you're dealing with Chinese Year of the Goat. Ida. You're dealing with a Leo as well. BF, boyfriend, best friend, girlfriend. Maybe you have multiple partners here. I don't know what the hell's happening with this. Maybe you're dealing with Chinese Year of the Ox. Yeah, you're stepping into a new experience here. You got a lot of tarot cards and you have uh, love, but it's in reverse. So mm, maybe you're breaking up with somebody, ending something here. MF. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something you're seeing very clearly now. And somebody wants to reconcile with you. They want to mend something with you. Okay, so we have, what is this? Let's see. The hanged man in reverse. So you're getting out of a situation that you were stuck in. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you made a decision. Four of Wands. There's a celebration here. There's a party that you could be invited to. Or you're inviting someone out. But it's definitely a surprise here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. But you don't feel like you're good enough or something. Or you didn't, you didn't reach that goal yet. You didn't find that right person yet. You don't feel fulfilled. Judgment in reverse. It's not the right time. You're still dealing with some kind of karmic cycle here and seven of pentacles here. So yeah, you're just, you have to wait. You're you're in a waiting period right now. Chinese year of the horse, short journey with the cancer. It could be travel, an upcoming trip. Yeah, this is that, it could be that four of wands. Proves to be a life-changing in positive ways. Some kind of event that you're attending. Let's see. Looking at your photos, missing you. Hmm. Someone's missing you. Are you going to be making new memories on this little trip that you're taking? Being lighthearted, carefree, finding out things come into light, change, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase. You're going into a new phase in your love and relationships here. Oh, you could have been dealing with some kind of fox energy here. Or this man could have been like uh, meeting someone new. This could be someone you're meeting that's a new person. They're a little sneaky here, so be careful. Let's see, older man too. Between five to 10 years older, brown to gray hair and you're moving to America. Maybe this person's moving to America. You know, maybe they're a foreigner or something. Hmm, interesting, very interesting. Number 14, so the 14th could be significant. Number nine, Chinese year of the monkey, Virgo. Cunning, intelligent tricks or mischief. It alternatively can represent your work. This could be someone at your work over here because you have some kind of weird love thing going on there. Unconventional relationship, deception and manipulation. So be careful of this person, this uh, whoever that is, that, that weird person. Because it's definitely a guy here. Very interesting. Because they could be lying to you, not telling you the truth. So your work and money, let's see. I just heard long comb, so. Larry. Larb. 
That's like Thai food. Maybe you're eating some kind of Thai food. Bill. Maybe you're going to be paying your bills. Have enough money to pay your bills now or something. Yeah, and I just heard Barack Obama. <laughs> okay. The fifth of the month is going to be significant for this. Chinese Year of the Dragon and Taurus. 23, full of wonder. Something with your family. You could be dealing with another water sign here. And something is fated and destined in love, connected to your work. So you could be working with someone that you're in love with or in a relationship with. Strength in reverse. Could be a Leo or a Taurus, Capricorn here. Aries. Hmm. Yeah, you're, I don't know, you're giving up on something here. Because you feel like something else is, um, you're actually your destiny here. Like, you don't feel like whatever this is that you've been in is your actual purpose in this life. Rick? Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're starting something new. Something fresh. You're getting out of this, whatever that is. Page of Wands. Ooh, it could be a fire sign that you're meeting. A young fire sign. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Maybe this is someone in love or whatever that's coming in. This could be someone that, you, that you're very um, attracted to. Maybe you have, you've been trying to hold yourself back from this person, but you can't anymore. <laughs> uh, brick. Target, goal-oriented person. New home. Moving is in a step, is a step in the right direction. Maybe you're moving and you're going to meet this person or this person's moving towards you. Yeah, meeting someone new. Dating, getting back out there. Plan, set a date. Ooh, ooh, bouquet, dirty dog, drowning. Yeah, you're getting out of the situation that you were drowning in. You, yeah, and happy times are ahead for you. So, yeah, I don't, I don't like that you were drowning. We are meeting at work. I'm your boss. No, don't do this. We're a family. Oh my gosh, this person's your boss. What the f, bro? What are you guys doing? You effing effers. No, don't do this. All right, so they could be Chinese here, the monkey or a Virgo, letter Q. Something good or pleasant, happiness, joy, invitation or gift. This person's going to be inviting you somewhere, I'm telling you. A positive event or development in a relationship. Happy work environment, events in your favor. You're going to be so happy working with this person. I don't know what this is, but only you know, baby. But yeah, that's, that's some crazy shit. Okay, so we have news, like general news in July and spirit news. So we have CN, Y, New York, maybe from New York, Chinese Year of the, I was going to say Chinese Year of the Monkey, but Chinese Year of the Rabbit, Aries here, that could be someone bringing you news, ho. Maybe you're going to hear someone's a ho, maybe it was your ex, maybe there was a hoax, something that wasn't real in your money. Yeah, maybe you invested in something and it, and it didn't work out. The fourth could be significant for that. The star in reverse. Yeah, one of your wishes isn't coming true, but you're going to be recovering from it with the sun. Like it was, it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, and you are protected with this salt, the black salt. You are protected with this and one of your wishes is coming true. Yeah, and spirits with you, you could be um, Jewish or... The Merkaba, mind, body, and spirit. It could represent a lot of things. You could be Muslim, you know, whatever. Maybe someone's different than you. You're meeting while you travel or something. Curb. Connecticut. Yeah, you're going to be sexually really attracted to somebody. You're going to have to hold yourself back. Yeah, and this is someone that's rushing into your life. They could be Chinese ear, Chinese ear of the horse. Or they could have cancer placements, but you're going to be very attracted to this person. You could be, you know, getting a little, a little freaky with that shit. And they could have Leo placements. Yeah, there's something about attraction here. You're going to be very attracted to this person. Knight of Swords in reverse. Ooh. This person took their time. They're, they're not impulsive, right? You know, because this kind of gives me the knight energy too. But this person has really taken their time. Like, you could have waited a while for this person. 
Ooh, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Let go. As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. The letter. Ooh. Healing time. Mental breakdown. Huge fight or argument. Oh. Hmm, maybe somebody wants to apologize to you, but they're they're not ready or they're waiting for the right time. All right, they could be 27 years old or the 27th could be significant or the 7th. Chinese year of the horse, Cancer. Written communication, written documents, a strong communicator. Love letter or possibly long distance relationship. Paperwork, written business offer, test results or prescription, issues with the hands. And uh, the 27th, like I said, could be significant for that. All right, so home and self. You could be traveling somewhere. Are you going to be traveling around a lot? Are you going overseas somewhere? Maybe that's where you're moving. Delta, I just heard. All right, hold on a second. You got a lot of tarot cards here. And I don't want to mess them up. DPV. Hmm. And I just heard human papilloma virus, so... Yeah, there's an X here. I don't know. Maybe someone's going to tell you that. See? She, she, she. Maybe this person is Chinese or they speak Mandarin. She, she. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely lost faith in something. And you have the golden car, so you could be getting a new car, a new vehicle. It could be a luxury purchase here. You're definitely traveling by car around. Maybe you're going on a road trip. Never, never give up. You're getting advice from a wise person here. Something connected to your spiritual path here and your ancestors and your family are really showing up with your home and self. Like you're reflecting on this. Yeah, you could be going to Europe. Hmm. But you're hesitating on something. Something's making you nervous or worried. It could be an earth sign or something about the autumn. You need to wait until the autumn. Death in reverse. That's your guys' card. Yeah, you're afraid to end something here. You're worried. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something in your home. You're 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 afraid to end either a long term relationship or something connected to a home and foundation. You're you you need to end it. You're avoiding like um a tower moment type of thing. You're avoiding a really big ending for some reason. Maybe you're afraid. Yeah, the Empress here. Maybe this is your mother. Um, is involved with this. Maybe you want to leave. But you don't want to leave your mother. You don't want to hurt this person. Maybe you got to cut off your mother. Maybe this is your, a wife. Maybe it's going to be your ex-wife. Or maybe this is someone that you want to make your wife. I don't know. Something with a female here. Five of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're tired of fighting. You don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to have arguments anymore. Knight of Pentacles. And this took a long time here. There could be an offer coming of money or a job that's going to set you free. Yeah, the world. It was just in divine timing. You're going into a new cycle here. And the King of Swords in reverse. It's like, this is also giving me like the Ace of Swords because it's like upright. You're going to get clarity and truth. But this air sign that you were dealing with, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I feel like you could be ending things with them because it's not working. Something's not working with this person. Yeah, danger, especially in money matters. Maybe this person lied to you. Spiritual teacher, your love life. Oh, sorry, your love life, I was going to say. So maybe this is someone that you're in love with. That's what I just did. <laughs> like when you call it like a little cat, like, I don't know. Maybe you have a cat, you do that. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So you could be a healer. Ooh, you got the tree. Very beautiful. Ooh, a gift. That's nice. Maybe you have a mother tree too. Comment down below. Getting married this year. Another person, not you. So you, that could be the event that you're invited to. Someone's wedding. True soulmate. You never met me. You're going to meet a soulmate there. And the tree represents a soulmate as well. So definitely go to that party. I mean, you do whatever you want. But if, listen to that intuition. If it's calling you, and you're going to get a dream about it, I'm telling you. And you're going to be like, oh, I got to go to this. Watch. And it's very important. Yep. Okay. 
number five. So the fifth of the month could be significant. Chinese year of the dragon, Taurus, and you also have seven too. So Chinese year of the horse and cancer. Health, connection to the past and growth, soulmates, long-term relationship, lasting partnership, rut or routine, routine relationship. Growth period, patience needed in a career. And yeah, it's connected to May. So this could have started in May. And let's see what signs you're dealing with in July. Pisces, which we already know. Cancer. Taurus. Aquarius. Gemini. And Capricorn. All right. So that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great month. Namaste. Love and light.